students are struggling to deal with Zoom fatigue. We take a look at some of the physical and mental issues students are facing. Students aren't the only ones suffering from online overload. A teacher shares how she is dealing with the challenge. Students have been looking for ways to combat Zoom fatigue. See how one student is staying active between classes. The Harvard Business Review has labeled the draining sensation of long-term screen usage as Zoom fatigue. I'm Cambry Guest reporting from Los Angeles. And I'm Brett Chody reporting from Lake Forest, Illinois. Tonight, we look at how millions of students are struggling to adapt to school online. Online classes have exponentially increased the amount of time students spend on screen. This issue became worse during quarantine since students began to seek refuge from online classes through smartphone apps and social media. We asked some USC students about their increased scrolling. Definitely when school started, um, I'm basically in a constant state of screen time uh, because of Zoom. Um, you know, I have found a little bit like my breaks are involving screens less than they used to um, in that if I finish Zoom, sometimes I just need to like throw my phone away and go outside. I didn't have any midterms uh, this past week, so my screen time was up like 400% from uh, last week, which when I had midterms. But um, overall pandemic versus pre-pandemic, it's definitely uh, increased by an order of magnitudes. I think my eyesight has gotten slightly worse <laughs> because I've been focusing on a screen all day. Um, so I think that's a very tangible negative effect that it's had on me. An increase in screen time has led to negative physical consequences for students. Two students and an expert talk about what can happen when you stare at a screen for too long. So basically like um, I've always kind of suffered from migraines, but it's a lot worse when you're on a screen. And I mostly noticed that spring semester when we first went online, I would get like horrible migraines like most days. All of the classes, they're not very distinguishable. I mean, the content, sure, but like, like atmospheric wise, everything just is kind of blending into one big mush. Like when I'm in class, I think I just go, get out of focus because of Zoom fatigue, but also maybe just my eyes are just tired. So um, I do think I blink more. When you're staring at a screen that's, you know, one to two feet away from you, it forces your eyes and your eye muscles to work over time. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you're staring at a screen for too long, your eye muscles essentially develop a cramp. So not only are your eye muscles cramped, but now you have dry eye, they're uncomfortable, and you just want to close your eyes and stop looking at the screen. The USC ophthalmologist advises students to use the 20-20-20 rule to tackle Zoom fatigue. She says that every 20 minutes, you should look away from the computer screen for 20 seconds and look at something 20 feet away. Another health issue online classes bring is a lack of daily movement. Without the walks to and from class, as well as around campus, daily activity is dramatically reduced. We spoke to a USC professor of kinesiology about how we can stay active. The reality of it is, this is kind of a problem that you're forced inside. I, I, there are always ways to do something. People can't say, well, I'm stuck indoors. I can never move my body. There's always something you could do. If it's resistive exercise, whether it's aerobic exercise, stretching, something has, could be done. Girondola's three tips for staying active with COVID restrictions are to do in-home exercises like push-ups and sit-ups. Get in your steps, either inside or outside with a mask. Students can also use household items, such as cans of food or a gallon of milk, as weights when they exercise. It is always difficult for new students to adjust to a big school like USC. But this year, freshman and transfer students are dealing with a pandemic, which has made it even more difficult for them to feel connected. There's no social events. I don't, you know, know anybody out there. So it's definitely really hard for me to even find like forms of communication, who to reach out to, like resources. When it comes to, you know, getting advice and all this stuff. I do feel like I'm all alone. I noticed that it's been really hard for me to really connect with the school and like certain events so usually I'm a very outgoing person and I'll join like clubs and organizations 
in this year, just because all of that stuff is online, I felt a lot more disconnected. So I actually haven't been as involved as I think I would have been if I was on campus this year. Students new to the university are not the only ones feeling isolated. Many who have experienced campus life are also feeling disconnected. One of USC's lead counselors talked with Annenberg Media about the importance of self-care. We have to be more intentional in terms of being online and more isolated to reach out to other individuals. Um, and we've got to continue to focus, um, which helps enhance our well-being on the three basics, eating, um, well as well as sleep um, as well as in terms of just exercise you know but we've got to be really cautious of how we perceive and the thoughts that we have attached to our loneliness because that gets us into trouble. Dr. Greco's three tips are to stay connected by scheduling time to FaceTime friends, keep a positive mindset, and focus on the things that you can control. Some resources available to USC students include Trojans Care for Trojans, Students can fill out an anonymous request form for help with personal issues. There's an online well-being course dedicated to protecting emotional health. The self-paced course is available through Trojan Learn. And USC counselors are also available 24-7 at 213-740-9355. Students aren't the only ones dealing with the consequences of Zoom fatigue. Our reporter Genevieve Glass gets a lesson from a teacher on the front lines of online learning. By the time I spoke to Stephanie Vermachuk at 10.30 a.m., she had already taught two classes, homeschooling her son Jax and teaching an hour and a half AP English class. She's been teaching for over two decades and says the adjustment to a new school year is always a bit challenging, but nothing like this. A couple weeks ago, I literally couldn't stop crying all week, but the exhaustion has felt more profound. And it's no wonder she's exhausted. At the end of each week, she has taught four high school English classes, totaling 15 hours on Zoom. And while her students understand the technology, she fears they're disconnected. You know, only a few kids are actually gonna unmute and participate in a Zoom discussion. Um, so just like the barrier to that is really tough. Zoom fatigue is a very real phenomenon, and experts say it's caused by a combination of factors, like eye strain, general monotony, and lack of movement. But don't shut down just yet. Educators say there is a way that we can refocus our brains and better adapt. If you're a college student, you're able to advocate for yourself. So let's say that you know you best learn through like hearing something, or you know you best learn if you see a visual of something, or you know you best learn by moving your body. Articulate that with your professor, or articulate that with your teacher and let them know and form those connections because teachers want to help you learn. And that's what we specialize in. <laughs> Ms. Vermachuk knows how to lift her spirits after a full day online. But you don't have to do deadlifts. Moving your body, drinking water, and going outside is the best workout plan to combat Zoom gloom. For Annenberg Media, I'm Genevieve Glass. Spending all day sitting and staring at a screen is leaving most people stiff and sore. The answer may be stand-up desks. Stand-up desks like these can help promote good posture and can decrease neck and back pain. If you don't have access to a standing desk, you can improvise using a dresser, countertop, or putting books under your laptop. Ergonomically friendly work environments have also been shown to improve mood, productivity, as well as metabolic health. USC junior Alex Esch has found many unique ways to stay active in her own apartment. To combat Zoom fatigue, she uses design, dance, and even a trampoline. Um, even though Zoom has been really hard, it's also really cool to see the way that I have time for things that I wouldn't have if I was doing normal classes and normal campus life. Um, and something that I'm super passionate about is design, and I've had a ton more time to just follow those um, creative dreams of mine. Her favorite way of getting creative is sending beautiful handwritten cards to her family. Instead of texting them how my day has been, I'll just write it um, and then send it to them in the mail so they have a fun little surprise. But it's also just a good way for me to get creative and to make designs and, and do that, which is what I love, but also to connect with a person in a way that's not over the phone. When she needs to step away from her desk, Alex and her roommate have found a rather unique way to stay active. Whenever 
we've had a long day of classes or we just need a break from being on our computer we'll just get up and jump on the trampoline and it sounds really silly but it's honestly such a good escape it's super fun to just jump on a trampoline feel like a little kid and just have a, a tiny little break in the day although she loves jumping around alex's favorite thing to do is dance i have been a dancer my whole life so dancing just brings me a ton of joy my favorite part is when i just put on some good music and I just improvise. I let um, my body move in the way that it wants to. I, it's a really um, good form for me of artistic expression and to totally let go of whatever's going on, the stress that I have from classes or whatever else is going on in my life. And for anyone else out there struggling with Zoom fatigue, Alex has just one piece of advice. I would definitely say just step back from your screen and do something that's just for you. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that trampoline. I need one for my apartment right now. Like, that looks amazing. Is, man, I wish I could bounce around. Either that or make up my own dance routines. I felt very inspired by Alex to create some choreography. I know, I love it. I love it. So great. That wraps up for this Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. From all of us at See It Live, have a good night.